here's how to add a countdown widget on iPhone. So if you guys want to go ahead and add a countdown widget on the iPhone device, in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys step by step just how to basically do this. So please watch this video until the end to find out how. So if you want to learn how to basically do this, you do need to utilize a third party application, which is called Pretty Progress. So go ahead and search for Pretty, pretty Progress on the app stores and I want you to go ahead and proceed with downloading it on your device. This is going to be basically a countdown application so proceed with downloading this on your device. It's basically free for you to, for you guys to use and once this is done downloading there is actually a widget for you to uh, add on your home screens for you to have a quick and easy countdown widget on your iPhone devices. So launch the application as you see, we do have a lot of different uh, presets over here, like today, this week, and a lot of different more, as you see. You can also tap on the plus icon to create your own, well, new progress. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just add a quick widget onto my home screen using this application. So long press on your home screens, and what we need to do is to tap on the plus icon. From here, let's search for the pretty progress application, and we're going to see, of course, the number of widgets that is available on here go ahead and tap on this option or rather the small widget for of course this tutorial purposes we could also choose any widget or any layout that that is available on the application so if you want to go ahead and make this a countdown all we need to do for from here is to basically tap on the application once more and let's tap on the plus icon right here on the bottom or rather well we can basically now choose an option for us to create a countdown real quick so you could also go ahead and customize your countdowns from here. We do have a percent countdown from 3% all the way to the top. You could also go ahead and edit this option to start from a specific time and finish on to a specific time as well. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tap on start. And I think that's going to be good for me. But I'm going to finish this option all the way to maybe just uh, 12. Let's actually just choose the 1 a.m. option. So that we could see, of course, the progress of that. Now, as you see, it does show you, of course, the percentage of the specific time frame that you guys set. It also set, shows you the total hours, the, uh, how many hours has passed, and the time remaining. Also add some notes. You could also show the percentage or the other option, which is, of course, the time from the calendar. You could also choose as well days if how many minutes. You could also choose minutes as well and a lot of different options as well. You could also go ahead and round up or onto the opposite option, count up or count down. And in this case, we do want to go ahead and add a countdown. So let's choose the count down option. You could also choose the, the accessory indicator to basically change it in, in and a go to none or to left and past. You could also change the virtual style depending on your liking. Tap on save once you're happy with what you did. And as you see, your countdown is now on your home screen. That's that easy, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe as well if you guys learned something. And take care.